If you would like to support the channel, you can do that by way of the links that you see in front of you or by going underneath the video in the description area and clicking on either one of the three links that you see. All right. So we are still in the month and I said that I got a few left in me. Got a few. And this just so happened to show up on my timeline where you have an individual that decided that they wanted to state in the same week. We're seeing how men sexualize women like Suki Hana and the Home Depot lady side by side. We can see clearly clear as day that it really doesn't matter how you express yourself. Men are indeed the problem. Amen. Now, I want to know by the way that the person looks, I'm just going to assume in the picture that that is a man who said that. And I've seen these things be said a lot online by men. And it's, you know, a specific type that tends to say this, right? No problem. Now, let's start with one thing, right? The lady to the left, the Home Depot woman. Her main story was the fact that she was stating online that she is too cute, too fine, too beautiful to be working at Home Depot. But yet that is a job that she has selected. Nobody forced her to do that job. Nobody coerced her to do that job. She decided to take on and sign up for that job, do the interview for that job. Right. And when she posted this directly online, of course, because of the way she looks, she had a lot of celebrity men looking at her, following her, right? Including the game and most importantly, Shaquille O'Neal. The reason that Shaq is important is due to the fact that there is nothing in a sense she could provide, right? With or without her, Shaq is going to still be Shaq. He built everything, you know, that he has. She can't really add anything to it, right? But Shaq himself can add millions of things to her. And nicely, he appeared directly in her DMs, basically, you know, telling her, hey, you know, you look great or whatnot, whatever. Don't pay attention to the haters, yada, yada, yada. Right. He was, in a sense, being cordial and he was silently shooting his shot letting her know that, hey, I see you. You look pretty great. Um, I'm here, right? So the ball was, in a sense, in her court. She decided, because she is a clout chaser, like a lot of women on social media, that it was a good idea to broadcast the fact that Shaq, who was a millionaire, probably hundreds of millions of dollars, if not more, decided to hop directly into her DMs and say this directly to her. This is why you have guys at certain levels going for certain types of women. Because over time, if you look through the history of social media, you have women who think that it is cool. They think that it is a great thing to flex online that they have such and such guys coming through their DMs. The only thing that realistically does is let those guys know that you can't keep your mouth shut. You just want a whole bunch of attention and you don't know when it is that you could have potentially had a life changing event take place. Right. So. We all know that nothing pretty much came of that nothing worked out later on it was stated online that she has a boyfriend or whatnot or whatever but this is the main point if you have a boyfriend you shouldn't be posting pictures online talking about oh i'm too cute to be here da 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 all this stuff you're posting pictures because you want attention if you are a woman you are at work. You should be working. You should be focused on the check. You should be focused on the money. You should not be in a bathroom sitting up here making posts that you know that are meant to attract the attention of men. That makes no sense. That make that that literally makes zero sense. If you're doing that, then you don't need to have a boyfriend. It makes no sense. 
it literally it makes zero sense now some people will state that oh why are men always trying to police what it is that women are doing if a dude decided that he was built he works out and he wanted to start posting thirst traps stating that oh you know i look too good to be single da 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 if he started posting that and he has a woman oh there would be problems women would be trying to call him directly out for the fact that oh we know that you got a girl in the back, but you send up here posting these thirst traps, acting like you're single, all this other, it would be a problem, right? It would be 100% a problem, then that would start a whole nother conversation, right? But magically, when it deals with women and they decide to do these things, supernaturally, it's a whole different story. It's a double standard, right? So then we go to the, the right side, right? Sukihana, who someone I have covered on this channel once, maybe twice. And um, she is known as uh, Suki with the good, you know, and that's her whole thing. She is a sexual being, right? And, you know, this is what she doesn't shy away from it. You know, it's what she's talking about. It's it's her lyrics, everything else that you can just so happen to find online. Uh, wow. Also stay stat. <laughs> also stay stat as well. Um, so what ended up happening, right? There is a clip where you have uh, YG Osiris, who was a rapper. And uh, it was at some type of celebrity basketball game. And Sukihana was, I guess, an a, a anchor celebrity, you know, anchor, reporter, whatever you want to call it. And uh, YG decided to come up to her and he was rubbing directly on her shoulders. And then he proceeded to try to kiss her um, about two, two, maybe three times. Right. And you could clear cut see uh, that. There might have been some discomfort there, some shock there, you know, things of that nature. And the online outrage began, right? Because people were looking at the optics. People were looking at, okay, you, you got Osiris up there and he's trying to kiss Sukihana with obviously out her consent and people went in. And... You had Sukihana also release a tweet basically stating how she's afraid to, in a sense, I guess, speak out, right? And then later on, you also got a report of YG uh, reportedly giving an apology to Sukihana for, you know, what uh, took place. And... I'm I'm just going to sit up there and state this, right? And and I know what is going to be stated, um, and, and what is going to take place. I do understand the fact that this is how she portrays herself. So, because you have a person, and I want to just make this very very clear: not condoning, not saying anything like that. What I'm stating is that. When you have people portray themselves in a certain type of light, and it seems that this is what they are all about, people are going to react to you a certain type of way, right? So Sukihana portrays herself as a very sexual being, a very open type of being. This is directly in her music, right? This is in the way that she dresses, the way that she carries herself, the way that you have the images and pictures. Nothing else says anything different about her. Maybe you might have a few interviews that might shine a different type of light directly on her, but the overall optics is that she is a very openly sexual woman. So men are going to come at her a certain type of way because of that portrayal right it's just like if a guy flaunts that he has money right he got the cars he got the jewelry he got this he can go here he can go here he can go here right women are going to come at that guy a certain type of way 
They're not going to do it nonchalant. They're not going to, you know, come at it a certain type of way. They're going to be pretty much direct and straight to the point. And they're going to use the things that they have as leverage in, in order to get the things that they want meaning trips, meaning a yacht, or gaining access to his riches or his wealth. Another example, you have a guy, yet again, flaunting his money, but he's in the hood. Now you have some guys, some individuals, like, oh, he's flaunting his, oh, he think he, oh, he think he better than me, no problem, I'm going to oblige you, so I'm going to rob you, right? Or I will rob you, and I'm going to take everything that you got, or I'm potentially going to take your life and still take everything that you got. Now, in both of these scenarios, the people who decided to put themselves in these situations, the guys, because they objectify themselves in a certain type of way, therefore allowing a certain type of reaction to take place. Now, again, not stating that the actions that are taking place by the others who are who are observing these guys are correct. Right. Not stating that at all, not condoning these things at all. What I am stating is that given the optics, given the situation, you have people that put themselves in compromising situations, either not knowing or full well knowing the potentiality in the optics of how it is that people will view them. It is up to people to decide what actions will and will not take place. Both of the men could very easily have been conservative with how it is that they were showcasing themselves to the world, meaning A, for the first example, to the women that are directly out there, or B, to how it is that the other guy was around in the hood deciding to flash his money, flaunt his money, all of his riches, all of his success in front of other people who don't know anything about that, who have way less than him, right? Now, again, not condoning any of the actions that took place when it came to Sukihana and YG Osiris. But I am stating due to the fact that Sukihana, she goes out there sexualizing herself. She has very provocative and sexualized lyrics, clothing choices, very sexualized along with many of the other pictures that are directly online. And again, she doesn't shy away from any of these things. What I'm stating is that due to the presentation that she is putting out there, the open sexuality of her presentation, this then leads other men to feel as though that because this is the way that she is, they can address or come at her a certain type of way and it will be deemed as fine versus if it was another type of woman directly out there right who is not into or do any or does any of the things that sukihana does right now going back to the picture on the left the home depot girl she put herself in the situation of receiving backlash due to the fact that she wanted to put out an image of hey i'm beautiful I shouldn't be working, a.k.a. Hey, I don't know why I'm here. Maybe somebody rich can show up and pick me up and change my life. Right. That's that's what that's the optics that she put directly out there. And a rich guy did show up and she decided to fumble that bag. And then later on, like I told you guys before, it was stated that she has a, a, a boyfriend and she's religious and all this other type of stuff. This is all I'm stating. If you are a woman with a boyfriend. And you are working a standard issue job. There is no reason for you to be working that standard issue job, having a boyfriend and throwing these types of images up there in order to get the attraction of other men, which you know is going to lead to attention, negative attention or whatever type of attention that you're trying to seek, which, again, makes zero sense. The whole reason that you're in a relationship is because that one guy is giving you the attention or all of the attention, right, that you desire or should need. But realistically, what it is showing is that even with being in a relationship because she has a boyfriend, that guy's attention is still not enough for her. She still hungers and wants more, even though she states that she has a boyfriend. Right. Again, 
This is why I state the things that I state where no matter what takes place with a guy in a relationship, that one guy is still not enough for that one girl. She is still going to want and hunger for more. Like I said, look at social media. Look at the internet. Look at the vast majority of women that are directly out there that take provocative pictures of themselves. Doesn't matter if it's on vacation in a bathing suit or whatever it is. Look at the body shots. Look at the tight clothes. Look at the pants. Look at everything that they're wearing. But these are women that are married or that are in a relationship, but yet they're putting up these pictures and images, knowing the fact that it's going to attract the attention of other men that should not be seeking them, nor should that woman be seeking due to the fact and by way that she is in a relationship, right? But just like the person stated, right? You you have the two directly in front. But the the whole thing that I disagree with is that this is not a case of, you know, men, you know, sexualizing both of the women. The main thing that people have to focus on is the fact that you do have women specifically out here that place a certain type of optics directly on them, which then opens the door and leads certain individuals to certain types of actions, right? So again, the Home Depot girl, she put herself out there as if she was single, like she was a damsel in distress, like she didn't want to work a standard issue job. And Shaq, being Steel, a.k.a. Superman, that he was back in the day, came in to try to change up her life. But again, she fumbled the bag. Sukihana, who is a sexual, sexualized rapper with sexualized lyrics, clothing choices, very provocative and different things of that nature. The way that she presents herself opened the door and allowed certain individuals to feel as though with the optics that are out there that they could react and act a certain type of way with her and that it would be consensual in nature because again of the presentation that she puts directly out there but like i said before that's that's just my optics that's just me trying to go through it some people i'm pretty sure <laughs> will disagree um you know directly with me i'm pretty sure some people will sit up here and say oh you're just trying to take the blame directly off of men and yada 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 no i'm not no uh, and and again i'm not agreeing with the actions that took place with sukihana but again i'm trying to tell people that if you put certain things out there you will have certain reactions that will take place. The problem with it is nine times out of 10, when women put out these false images or these true images of themselves directly out there for the world to see, they're not ready for the reaction or the actions that may necessarily come with it. <sighs> 